Our next guest is an Emmy and Tony Award-winning actor you know from his work on Monk and The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. He stars in Mr. Monk's Last Case, a Monk movie, which premieres December 8th on Peacock. Let's take a look. We hired you to write about your career as a police detective. You solved 140 homicides. That's the story we paid for. Not this. Oh, here in chapter four, you have two paragraphs about the suspect and seven, eight, nine pages about his vacuum cleaner. We have the same vacuum cleaner, the exact same model. What are the odds of that? Please welcome back to the show our friend Tony DeLube! <laughs> Thank you. Wow. It's been a while, but it's great to be here. It's great to have you here. I was very happy to see you. You were a Green Bay Packers fan. Oh, indeed. There was a Sunday night football game. Yes, against, against the Kansas, Kansas, City. Kansas City Swifts. The Kansas City Swifts. Chiefs. Well, I was going to say, you were, you were on the sidelines. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it must have been a rare case where nobody cared about you at all. Um, it was. It was. Uh, my thunder was not only stolen, yeah. but actually sent out. Yeah. Into the stratosphere. Yeah. Um, also, I want to note, she's always in like a very warm box seat. Yeah. And you're just on the field. No, no. <laughs> no, actually, that was just a pre- <laughs> that was just a pregame. Oh, I actually, oh, wow. I actually was in a box, okay. too. You know, it's funny for everyone to, you know, ask me, uh, are you going to see Taylor Swift? Did you see Taylor? As if like there's one box, yeah. you know, in the stadium. <laughs> you know, and I it was really dis- I was disappointed I didn't because I know she is I mean she is such an enormous monk fan yeah you know what I mean everybody so knows that yeah. it was uh it would have been huge I was it would have been great so great I think for she's, her I think she's I've heard her say I, ha, almost half her songs are actually about monk <laughs> subliminally yes you uh, you like uh, uh watching football but you also like not just what's happening on the field you're kind of obsessed with what the coaches are doing on the sideline yeah you know i have this thing i love games i you know what of course I, i'm obsessed with the packers i'm from green bay but you know and i watch other games of, hey somebody from green bay um <laughs> that by the way i've been to green bay that might be half of them yeah <laughs> Yeah, um, <clears throat> I, yeah, but there, there's a, just a few things about uh, it's televised uh, watching games on the, on TV because I mean being there live is fantastic, but on TV there's just one <laughs> there's one thing that really drives me insane. So, you know when they're the cameras are um, you know panning the sideline and then the you know they the uh, do you mind yeah the, the the they go they shoot the coach and the coach is like doing this. It's like, yeah, he holds like a clipboard in front of his yeah, face. What, 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 what is that? Yeah, this is You're right. What is that? It's like the Home Alone neighbor. I, Not I, the Home Alone. What is it? I, uh, home Improvement. Yeah, neighbor. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know. I'm, I mean, God, you know, God bless the coaches. They gotta do what they, they gotta, gotta do. do. But um, let's just move the camera somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. You know, if they want to show us their mouth, we'll we'll put them on TV. But well, otherwise, we yeah, don't want to look at yeah. it. <laughs> Or maybe they can, coaches could just get, you know, they have these headsets. Couldn't they just get a little round disc that on the end of the mic and then so they can just talk yeah, just and say nobody... what they want. Not a, yes. You're right, the disc. Why aren't they doing the disc? That's that. bad. Yeah, you're right. Um, this is very exciting. Uh, this is 14 years since Monk uh, uh, ended. And yeah. it ended well. Eight wonderful seasons. You were yeah. very happy with how it, uh, it resolved itself? Yeah, we had a two-part finale. You know, we really were proud of that. It was, uh, you know, we... Monk solves the case of his wife's murder, finally. And uh, the ratings were really good. And so, you know, there wasn't a big incentive to, to revisit this character. And then, well, then the pandemic happened, and we did this public service announcement for Peacock. And, um, you know, talking about being safe and wearing masks and all that. And, uh, and all of a sudden, the response to that public service announcement was, was huge. And then we, uh, the writers and the network said, hey, let's, let's try a... Let's try a Monk movie. It was, I mean, it's weird and also fitting that the pandemic sort of brought it about because, of course, Monk was this, uh, you know, character with OCD, a character with high anxiety, and it, we sort of all became more like Monk. Right. 
for basically two years, we all sort of uh, lunked out a little bit. Yeah, and that's and that's kind of what the that that's sort of laced into the the plot of our our movie. You know, the fact that uh, he has gotten knocked back on his heels way way he's he's regressed. Uh, to, <laughs> He's now worse than he was when we first met him in the pilot. And, uh, but also that the world has changed and he doesn't look quite so neurotic anymore. You know? Oh, well, that's good, yeah. So he's worse, but so are the rest of us. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, your uh, beautiful, talented uh, wife, Brooke, was the editor in the yeah. clip we showed. And, uh, uh, yes, she's the, she's the, publish, the publisher. Publisher, excuse me. Yes. Um, but she's also, um, I was not aware, she has been on Monk multiple times but it's multiple different characters. Yes, never played the same character twice. This shows, yeah. uh, this shows Brooke's incredible range. Uh, here she was there. Oh, she... the crazy cat lady. Yep, I yes. was gonna say. Yes. If you had asked me to guess the name of the character, I would have said that. <laughs> um, also done some law enforcement work. <laughs> right. uh, here she is, uh, the one, here's the clip we just saw of her as the publisher. Right. Um, uh, who was she here? Oh, oh, this was uh, one of the roles. She did a very dramatic uh, role where a son of hers is kidnapped or something, and I can't remember the plot. And, uh, <laughs> sorry. And, uh, yeah, it's a very, very moving and a dramatic role. And then uh, here she is as a Season flight one, attendant. Yeah, Excuse the me. flight attendant. <laughs> right. Uh, she plays this stewardess who has uh, been sober for many years, and then by the end of the flight, she's drinking out of the little... Yeah. The little uh, it really yeah. is. She's, got, she's a jack of all trades. Yeah. It's very she's impressive. She's the transforming actor. Uh, yes, I have a, a more to ask uh, about her and more to ask about you. Uh, we're going to be right back with Tony after this. <laughs> 